third recommendation is really uh, just a, a general recommendation to make sure to give students opportunities to work together as much as possible. I know that there are quite a few modules where um, it's important for students to be able to master certain concepts on their own and to be able to perform tasks completely on their own. Um, in these cases, one way to get your students to collaborate, work together, discuss could also be to ask them to get together with a peer each week uh, to reflect on their learning journey. Or you can make it a practice within uh, your live sessions. Uh, if you have space and time, then you could perhaps save five minutes at the end of your um, end of your live session for students to discuss their progress and to reflect on their learning in, in small groups. So this is another way to, to get them to connect to each other. And when they feel connected to each other, uh, when they feel like they belong to a community of learners is when they'll be more engaged and, and more motivated to take on your module and to really master the concepts and master the activities that they're assigned. I hope you find these tips helpful. So again, um, tip number one is uh, set up a meet your group section before term starts. Tip number two is to create dedicated discussion forums for each um, each different student group within your course. And then the third one is to find quick opportunities for students to work together, even if it's, uh, if it's in a more informal setting or even if it involves uh, more, more informal conversations such as reflecting on, um, on their learning and their careers. Thank you.